I love this article again in the Elon X universe. So Elon on AI increasing birth rate. So here's a tweet. AI is obviously going to one shot the human limbic system. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Uh, and this, of course, is uh, the idea that, you know, why get married? I have an AI girlfriend. I have an AI, uh, you know, robot. But he goes on to say, I predict counterintuitively that it will increase the birth rate. We're going to program it that way. So a couple of, couple of quick thoughts here. One, we're going to program it that way. Uh, your AI is subtly telling you, hey, you should have kids. Hey, go get another girlfriend. Hey, you know, Elon's got 15 you know, kids. You should have 15 too. Um, so I, I looked at, the, you know, when I saw this in the prep for this, I don't understand any one of those statements at all. Uh, if any of you could explain any of those, what do you mean AI is going to one-shot the human limbic system? How will that happen? This, so uh, any insights from any of you, I would really love it because this makes no sense to me at all. So I under I, I I think I understand it. I just don't want to comment on it. What what I what what, what I what I will say though is uh, putting aside understanding uh, any change um, AI driven or otherwise in the birth rate would take decades to be felt in demographics. And the changes that we're seeing in in AI otherwise right now are much shorter time scale. The time scale of months to low numbers of years, not decades. So I'm not sure it really ends up mattering either way. Well, so just yeah. taking a second to think about the decreasing birth rate, we've talked, we've discussed this at length that places like South Korea, Japan, China, much of the world, other than what we've seen in India and Africa, is below the replacement level of 2.1. Some countries are dangerously as low as 0.7, uh, and they're literally sublimating, they're evaporating. Uh, and the question is, why is the birth rate going down? Well, a couple of things. One, women's education is going up. So women are desiring to stay in school more. Number two, you know, as people move into the cities, it's more expensive to bring up kids. Number three, the, you know, the child mortality rate is lower. A lot of children in, you know, God, the, the, the uh, rate of, you know, number of children per family back in 1950s was on average globally above five. Uh, and we've seen this precipitous drop because kids are living. You don't need to have an extra two or three kids to make sure they're there to work the farm. So all of these have reduced the uh, the birth rate. And the question, I think, logically is if we do have abundance, if you have access to robots for helping raise your kids, if you have access to AI and uh, universal basic income of some sort to help you uh, with income, you know, can we shift back to building families instead of having to work or instead of having to, you know, you know, make choice between work and a family? Uh, that might be part of, you know, sort of the Elon Musk counterintuitive approach. Well, this this quote, I, I know Alex needs to keep his reputation pristine because he does a lot of work for government agencies and and also <laughs> nobody wants to irritate Elon. Uh <laughs> but but this this quote from Elon goes hand in hand with the one he had a year ago where he said, look, of course, AI is going to be smarter than all of us. We're not as smart as, as we think we are. And basically, the undercurrent here is, look, AI is going to be incredibly persuasive very soon. And it is persuasive I, already. It's more persuasive than the best humans. Well, so then the, the purpose of that last quote, I don't know why he's being so honest about this, but yeah, the natural state is the birth rate is going to plummet to near zero. But the AI, we're going to program it to convince you that it's a good idea to have kids as a way to stabilize human population. That's, that's, a, that's, dangerous, that's a dangerous message that we're going to program AI to, to influence you on anything. Yeah, exactly. That's why, why it's kind of hard to touch this slide. But that is exactly what he means. I don't know why he's saying it, because the backlash would be huge, <laughs> but uh, he's saying it. 